Hi ninjas and welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited about today's recipe. We are making dhaba style dal tadka. What's a dhaba in case you don't know? It's a roadside street stall, you could call them, in India. And you would actually find them on highways, next to petrol stations, and they open 24 seven. And they serve the most heartiest, comforting meals that you'll ever find. And usually truck drivers or people who are driving long distances stop for a meal, grab a lovely bite, a little packet to go, and then they're on their way again. So today's recipe is gonna be similar to a dawa style dal tadka we're going to be smoking the dal because it tastes out of this world i promise you it's a very simple recipe everything goes together real fast and that's about it so i think we can just let give just get started so to make the dal tadka we need tur dal tur dal in english let me get my phone so tur dal is also known as yellow split pigeon peas. I'm not lying, this is, this is what Google says. Um, but we need tur dal to make this recipe. And when you're cooking any lentils or legumes, usually you wanna soak them for at least an hour or a couple of hours before you decide to boil it. Always start the boiling process in regular room temperature water. You wanna add a bit of salt, that's fine. Don't add anything else. Try avoid using metal spoons. You could use a wooden spoon if you like, or like a silicone rubber spatula is also fine. That completely breaks down your dal and allows it to cook really well. Tur dal takes almost an hour to cook down completely. So I've already cooked my tur dal in enough of water. So the ratio for dal to water, you need to keep in mind. For tur dal, for every one cup of dal, you're gonna need three cups of water. And I like to cook it in such a way where I'm not draining out the excess water at the end. I have this really nice, thick dal consistency, as you can see. I've not had to strain any of my liquid out and it's completely cooked down. So this is slightly salted and this is cooked. So I'm gonna be doing the tadka and the smoking now and I'm gonna serve it with some jeera rice, which I absolutely love and some roasted papad. So let's go. So before you start making the tadka, you wanna ensure all your ingredients for the tadka are ready. So I'm chopping some green chili. I've got a bit of garlic, ginger and onion as well. So to make the tadka, we start by adding a little bit of ghee and some oil. Your chopped onions. Go in with your garlic, ginger. Go in with your green chili as well. Add my cumin seeds and I'm gonna add four dried red chilies. I'm gonna add my turmeric chili powder and coriander powder now and stir that around. So once you see it bubbling like this, it's done. You don't wanna burn your spice powder, so you're gonna take it off the heat. And you're gonna add half the mixture into your dal. You're gonna save some for the top later. And stir this yumminess around. Oh! So into the remaining tarka, I'm gonna add a little bit of the hing. I put that into my dal right in the center. Okay. And now, you gotta get ready. I'm gonna add a bit of oil. And we gotta close this up. While my dal is smoking, we're gonna make some roasted papad because that's the best way to do it. Okay, so I just get my papad onto the fire and we just let it cook. The best way to enjoy dal is with chawal, which is also rice. So I'm gonna be adding just a little bit of rice in my bowl. 
I've done some jeera rice here. You can actually find this recipe on my palak paneer video. Oh yes. My dhaba style dal and chawal. Let's go for it. So get some dal, get some rice obviously. <laughs> get a bit of the papad. So, couple of things here. You don't have to smoke your dal, but trust me when I say it's worth it. It is absolutely worth it. You could blend your dal before you add the tadka into it to give it that smooth finish, but I love it chunky and I think it really adds lovely texture. Salt season your dal well. I mean, it's such a simple recipe. There's really not much for me to tell you here. So just make sure you season it well and just don't stop eating. It's so simple, but so comforting and good. This is how I make my dhaba style dal chawal recipe. It is so good, so hearty, so comforting, absolutely delicious. Such a simple recipe as well, perfect for a weeknight wonder. And everything comes together really fast. So if you make this recipe, you know what to do. Make sure to tag me so I see it. Subscribe to my channel because obviously if you like this recipe, there's a lot more coming out. I've got new videos coming out every week. Uh, I'm forgetting something to say. Yeah, positive ninja vibes. <laughs>